This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Hey y'all! So, what the heck is going on? The Sims 4 just released a trailer about the new kits that are releasing uh, today. So if you don't know what kits are, kits are a new kind of stuff pack, or no, a new kind of pack that The Sims is releasing as of today that are smaller stuff packs. So now we have expansion packs, game packs, stuff packs, kits. There's a lot. Let us watch this trailer together. Introducing kits. Bite-sized packs, big, big possibilities. Throwback fit kit. So we have like 90s clothes. They are cute. I do like the clothes, they're pretty cute. A uh, country kitchen set. Oh. Oh! Sorry, I yelled. That looks really cute. Bust the dust. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ugh. That was kind of scary. That is amazing. The kitchen one is my favorite. But they're vacuuming. More ways to play with life. Sims 4 kits. Available now. So that was the trailer. All right, so I'm looking at kits on Origin. They are $5 a piece. So all three of these together, which that would be $15. Are they worth $5 each? I don't know. <laughs> I would say the country kitchen kit does look like it's worth $5. Does the cleaning one look like it's worth $5? I'm not so sure about that one. The only reason that I, I would think that this might be worth it to someone is if you're a console player and you can't get custom content. It's only worth $5 if it matters to you. So if you want clothes like this, is that worth $5 to you? Maybe it's more worth it to you than somebody else. I don't know. Would I get it? Probably not. But would I spend $5 on the Sims 4 country kitchen kit? I definitely would, yes. I think this one looks so cute. Now, I know there's the argument of could it be in an expansion pack? Could it have just been in a game pack? Uh, 100%, I totally agree. I think the point of kits, part of me wants to believe that it is so they can get new content out to us faster without there being these big, large gaps uh, between expansion and a game pack. Like, I feel like it's supposed to close the gap, so there's not, like, as much time that passes without any new content. That's what I think anyways. I think it's supposed to, um, just kind of- I, I feel like they're just trickling stuff in. So in this one, the country kitchen set, it looks like there's one, two, three, four- there's 15 items for five dollars. I don't think that's bad, actually. I think that one's all right. It even comes with what looks like flooring and maybe a wallpaper. Uh, that's pretty cute. Obviously new countertops and stuff like that. I'm like, just always down for I, I love kitchen stuff. It's so cute. But the one that I think is maybe not worth $5 is the bust the dust kit. It comes with five items. That's $1 per vacuum. Is that worth it? I don't know. I don't think so. Now this one comes with more gameplay than it does items. So we'll have to play it and see if it's worth it. And then the other one is literally just clothes. This is the throwback fit kit. It comes with comes with 23 pieces of clothing. That's actually not bad. Most stuff packs don't come with that much clothing unless it's like specifically focused on that, which obviously this is, so you just get nothing but clothing, so they focus more on that. It's not a bad deal. I don't think this one's that bad either. The only one that I think is like really bad is the, the bust the dust kit. I have to... If you're not into it, then of course it's not gonna be worth $5. Would I buy it? I don't think so. <laughs> the country kitchen kit is the one that I would 100% buy. I think it's totally worth $5. I would I'd buy that, but that's because I'm interested in it. <laughs> if I didn't care about building or kitchen stuff, I'd be like, no, it's not worth it. Well, let's put it to the test. Let's play with them. Let's open them up. Let's see if they're actually worth it. We have a visitor. All right, so for tops, we have this one. Actually, I think these clothes look really nice. Actually cute. Oh, wow. See, like, I'm really impressed by the way that they look in the game. Like, that is really cute. Don't get me wrong. But would you pay five dollars? Huh. Bottoms. Cute shorts. There's these. Actually, I wear these shorts, like, all the time. <laughs> I do love the pastel blue and pink as well. There's this, which is like a long skirt. There's these pants, which I also adore. And there's this like tennis skirt. Now let's look at the full body. We have this guy, which is really cute. I do like all the different patterns. We have this one, which is it's just very tennis to me. <laughs> and then we have this one, which is honestly kind of just like a cute dress. I don't know, I wouldn't even say it's athletic. I think it's just kind of a cute outfit. There are new shoes as well. Ooh, I love a good solid white 
tennis shoe. So that's it. Right up my alley, girl. Oh my god, they have pastel pink tennis shoes. Those are so cute. <laughs> okay, no new hair. Oh, there is also hats. There's this, well, there's one hat. <laughs> it's like a little bucket hat. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Okay, so overall, I mean, I'm not disappointed with the items we've gotten. I know that there are things for uh, kids as well. Also, there are a few things for the guys. We have this one with like the little, little bum bag on the back. And then we have this one. I like all the clothes. I'm not disappointed at all. And then there's this one other pair of pants for the guys. Very cute. I think all the clothes are nice, but that is it for the throwback fit kit. There are some things in Creative Sim for the other packs as well including two new aspirations with the bus, the dust kit. Here they are. We have perfectly pristine. The Sim likes their home to be in presentable and clean all the time. Taking pride in their pristine homes, these Sims shoot for perfection and thrive when they have a spotless house to show off to guests. Okay. The second one is fabulously filthy. This Sim revels in filthy, messy homes and avoids cleaning at all costs. Procrastinate, dodge chores, lower your standards, and find creative ways to thrive in the filthiest environments. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make two Sims, one who wants it filthy and one who wants it clean. And we'll see what the difference is between the two. All right, so looking at the aspirations, the fabulously filthy one has things like leave food out to spoil, let three kitchen or bathroom objects get dirty, at least one floor level of your home becomes dirty, or max out Susanna's fun motive while on a dusty, dirty, or filthy floor. Check the dust level. It's clean. The sparkling surroundings fill Sims with focus, inspiration, and energy. We can also kind of see what's in store here. Ask three other Sims to clean, befriend a dust bunny, pay for a cleaning service, eat three meals that are spoiled, bathe in dirty showers, et cetera, et cetera. Knock over trash cans, woohoo in a filthy house. Okay, and then on the opposite side, perfectly pristine, just wants you to basically clean vacuum for three hours, wash the dishes, empty the trash, clean up the messes, wash your hands, purchase a handheld and an upright vacuum, destroy three dust bunnies, um, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. You get it. So let's give this little kitchen a makeover, shall we? With the one kid I was really excited about. <laughs> oh, okay, so the kitchen one actually comes with a pre-made room as well, which will, uh, well, geez, I was gonna try to put it down. The ruin of the landscaping. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it comes with like a farmhouse sink and everything. This is adorable. So we have the blue, the pink. Everything also looks very distressed. I love that one and very like rustic. Oh, the purple even, that's so cute. Sparkle, sparkle. I'm pretty sure I just saw the floor sparkle. Well, anyways, this one kind of looks like the green kitchen it had before, so let's go with that. Oh, here's like what the end pieces look like. They have like little curtains. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And actually we can remove this one and put in this guy. Oh, it connects, that's beautiful. I also just realized I'm doing the wrong color. I don't know how that happened. We also have an island. All right, we did get cabinets. I was actually worried about that. I didn't I didn't know if we were going to, because you know what The Sims 4, you just never know. Oh, we got a new fridge and it's so cute. Oh, and it comes with white as well, which I really like. And then it also comes with this new stove, which is so funky looking, I love it. I love that it's pink. They could also get a white or a black one, or no, that's like dark green. We can get one that matches, very cute. All right, we also have these cabinets, but then there's also shelves. Let's say I delete those, I can put in a whole shelf instead. And then there's a handy dandy flower caddy. That is such a cute item. We also have a knickknack jar. And, oh, and look at the little pictures changed, all sorts of different stuff. <gasps> Cookies. And then we have a bountiful bucket with like oranges inside. Oh, you can change it. We have a flower tin. These are really cute. Oh, <gasps> decor items. We have a bread box. I was hoping we'd have one of these. Oh my God, the little designs are adorable. I really like this one. And we have a casserole dish. Oh, okay. And I believe that is everything that comes in the country kitchen pack. I think it's really cute. I would happily pay $5 for that pack. I think that is so worth it. So cute. Now for the last one the bust the dust. We have one cordless vacuum here, two cordless vacuums here. What is the difference you might be asking? I don't know. This one's only 190 and this one's 600. So I just assume that one is better than the other. Then we have the vacuums. This one is 180. Then we have the medium one, which looks like a normal vacuum. And then we have the super fancy swivel swank. Oh my God, the floor is sparkling. I'm telling you. So those are the items. That's it. Oh, she's vacuuming. She's vacuuming the sink. 
All right, I'm actually going to delete all the vacuums and see what happens when no one vacuums. I want to see these dust bunnies. Three days later. Oh, look! Dust is starting to collect. It's happening! <gasps> Ew! Ew, I see one! Ugh. We can step on it, befriend it, pet it. Ew, oh my god, ew. ew, there's another one over here. Ask Dust Bunny to search for valuables. Okay. Susanna may have asked for valuables, but sometimes a Dust Bunny's definition of treasure is indeed literal trash. Clearly there's some kind of failure to communicate here. Try speaking, try speaking in a language your dust friend might understand better. Feeding your bunny a dust snack might be a good start. What? Oh, feed it. I want to see what this looks like. Ooh, she's just like salt baying it onto the thing. Ew. I kind of want to step on it, but at the same time, I feel kind of bad. Oh! She killed it! Oh yeah, this is disgusting. Okay, so what happens then if we get a vacuum? How do I save this place? I'm gonna get the vacuum 9000. I don't know. Do I- am I gonna see like a difference happen? There's still dust bunnies! I mean, girl, she vacuumed and- let me tell you something, I don't see any difference at all. <laughs> you must have to do a lot of vacuuming. If I, what happens if I do vacuum to perfection? Surely that would mean- oh, there we go, there we go! It's better now! The whole house is clean, just like that. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. But okay, that's kind of the general gist of it. I think we've gone through all the kits. If you're like into cleaning, if that's something that you like to do, or if you were big into laundry, maybe you'll like this task as well, it kind of gives them something to do. It does give you consequences though for not cleaning, which is pretty cool. So I would like to note that if you want to ever turn this off, if you buy Busted Dust and you don't want dust to accumulate, you can get rid of it. So you can disable it as well. So if you buy it, you don't always have to have it on, which is good to know. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for like checking them out. I'm more happy than I thought about the clothes. I'm just as happy as I thought I was gonna be about the kitchen. <laughs> and the bust the dust one, I don't know if it's worth $5, but I like the consequence of not cleaning your house. It's very realistic, <laughs> except for the dust bunny part. But I like the dust, like on the floor. I'm like, ooh, I need to clean my house. Like, I kind of like that, but that's just me. A lot of people may not like that. Again, do I think it's worth $5? I don't know about that. But anyways, that is gonna be all for me today. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think? Are you, are you not into it? Are you into it? Are you gonna buy any of them? Are you gonna buy zero of them? <laughs> I would like to know in the comments. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.